things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. You better get that elbow down or he's gonna keep blasting those body kicks right to your ribs. Slips the punch. Goes upstairs for an elbow. Oh, he lands another hook there. He's already landed several in the round. That one might have been the cleanest of the bunch. He turned his chin, made his chin touch his shoulder with that beautiful right. hook. He really got all of himself into that hook, pivoted off the right hand. Big left hook lands. What a great punch. Whiffs on that offering. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Big call for Rush Lance. Now he gets back to range. Both fighters throwing heat now. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab, DC? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch is the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA... No, he is on B Street right now. He's still over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. Nice kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh! Huge right hand! Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. The opponent. You got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. with his onslaught that ultimately appeared as though the outcome was an eventuality. So if you're the referee, you got to protect the fighter, and I thought he did a good job of doing just that.